Hello everyone, this is Karma from EC Language and welcome back to my channel and to this month's word of the month. Today I'm going to share with you all some internet slang, so next time you're on the internet you will know what these mean. Here are a few that have become popular in recent years, reflecting their origins, usage and practical examples. Next one is slide into DMs. Slide into DMs. This phrase originated from social media platforms, particularly Twitter and Instagram, where DMs stands for direct messages. Sliding into someone's DMs implies initiating a private conversation, often with a flirtatious connotation. It is used to describe the act of sending someone a direct message on social media in a smooth or subtle manner, typically with romantic or flirtatious intent. Here are some examples. After following each other for weeks, he decided to slide into her DMs. Which means, after following each other on social media for weeks, he decided to start a private conversation with her and flirt with her. I can't believe my favourite author slid into my DMs after I mentioned their book. This means I can't believe my favourite author started a private conversation with me after I mentioned their book on social media. If you're interested, why not slide into their DMs and see what happens? This means if you're interested in them, why not start a private conversation on social media and see where it leads? Number two, cancel culture. Cancel culture. Cancel culture is a concept that has risen with the advent of social media, where individuals or entities are cancelled or boycotted due to their controversial actions or statements. It refers to the practice of withdrawing support for public figures and companies after they have done or said something considered objectionable or offensive, otherwise known as cancelling. Here are some example sentences. He's been a part of cancel culture ever since those tweets from 2010 resurfaced. This means he's been boycotted by many ever since his controversial tweets from 2010 were brought to public attention. Cancel culture doesn't allow for growth or forgiveness. This means the practice of boycotting individuals doesn't permit them to show that they have changed or to be forgiven. This brand is the latest target of cancel culture due to their environmentally harmful practices. This brand is being boycotted by many due to their practices that harm the environment. Number three, doom scrolling. Doom scrolling. Doom scrolling emerged as a term during the COVID-19 pandemic referring to the act of continuously scrolling through bad news on social media or news websites despite it making one feel anxious or depressed. It is used to describe the habit of spending an excessive amount of time consuming negative news online to the detriment of one's mental health. Here are some examples. I need to stop doom scrolling before bed. It's ruining my sleep. This basically means I need to stop continuously reading negative news before bed as it's affecting my sleep negatively. Ever since the pandemic started, doom scrolling has become a daily habit for many. This one basically means since the pandemic began, many people have developed a habit of constantly reading bad news. Realizing the impact of doom scrolling, she decided to limit her social media use. This means, understanding the negative effects of continuously reading bad news, she decided to reduce her use of social media. Fourth word is ghosting. Ghosting. Ghosting is a term that gained popularity with the rise of online dating and social media. It refers to the act of suddenly and without explanation stopping all communication with someone the individual was previously in contact with, leaving them without any closure. 
It's used to describe the abrupt end to communication in personal relationships, especially in romantic contexts, without any explanation from the person initiating the ghosting. Here's some example sentences. After three dates, he started ghosting me, and I never heard from him again. This means that after three dates, he suddenly stopped all communication with me without any explanation. I thought we were good friends until she ghosted me out of nowhere. This means I thought we had a strong friendship until she unexpectedly ceased all communication with me. Ghosting someone you've been talking to for months is just cruel. This one means suddenly stopping all communication with someone you've been in contact with for months is unjust and harsh. The final word this month is virtue signaling. Virtue signaling. Virtue signaling is a term that has emerged from social media discourse. It refers to the practice of expressing opinions or sentiments that demonstrate one's good character or the moral correctness of one's position on a particular issue, often with the intent of gaining approval from others rather than from a place of genuine conviction. It's used to critically describe actions or statements made to showcase one's morality or political correctness, especially on social media, without necessarily taking meaningful action to support those beliefs. Here are some example sentences. Her posts about environmental conservation are just virtue signaling. She doesn't practice what she preaches. This means her posts about protecting the environment are merely to show off her moral stance. She doesn't actually live by those principles. The company's sudden support for social causes feels like virtue signaling rather than a real commitment. This means the company's sudden endorsement of social causes seems more like an attempt to appear morally correct than a natural dedication to those causes. Accusing someone of virtue signaling can dismiss genuine concern for social issues. And this one means claiming someone is just showing off their morality can undermine the real concern for societal problems. These words and phrases capture specific behaviours and phenomena that have become more visible and discussed due to the internet and social media, reflecting the complexities of digital era communication and social interaction. I hope you learned something new and useful in today's video. Stay tuned for more English vocabulary next month. Bye bye.